Hi, it's Andrew Clark, the Logistics Optimizer here. Um, just following on on the series I'm doing at the moment on real-time inventory management. Now, I'm a big fan of Jordan Peterson. I've listened to a lot of his stuff. There's there's a lot of interesting content that I find there, and I've been working my way through his uh, his current book, uh, 12 More Rules for Life Beyond Order. Anyway, in the chapter one of that book, um, he he talks about culture and how the uh, now. <laughs> I'll get to how this is relevant to inventory management in, in, in a minute. So just bear with me as I go on this little tangent. So he talked about culture and how um, mental health and, and in fact the, um, the right sort of mental uh, balanced state of, of a human being requires interaction with other people, interaction with your culture. Because culture is old, it's developed over a long time and it contains all of the wisdom of your forebears. Uh, in the right ways to live, how to survive, how to get on in the world. And so uh, we, we achieve a kind of balance when we engage with that, when we engage with the culture. In that sense, culture is kind of like the operating system for human beings. So, and you'll get where I'm going with this in, in, in just a minute, it's a bit like software is what culture is. So, uh, in my series, I talked a little bit uh, a while ago about uh, about process design and processes that suck. So they're slow, uncoordinated, um, they um, complex, and they keel over under load. And versus processes that scale, which are speedy, coordinated, accurate, learnable, and easy. So uh, and and then I talked about process design. And I've got twelve principles of process design, so you can go have a look at those. But one of the, the things that I was really getting at with that difference between uh, processes that suck, which are people dependent, versus processes that scale, which are system dependent, your, your business system, a bit like culture, is the operating, contains the embodied, uh, well not embodied, contains the wisdom, the collective wisdom of uh, of all of the ancestors within your business, right? You put, if you have a system that is sophisticated uh, enough, you can collect the wisdom uh, and, the, and the right ways of working your business that helps people follow the culture of your business, right? This is the way we do things here. That's what culture really is all about. So, um, uh, how does this relate to real-time inventory management systems? Well, real-time inventory management or warehouse management systems is the particular um, uh, version of that that I am considering. A warehouse management system uh, is a way of building in the all of the right ways of running your warehouse into a system that with the mobile device helps your people operate your warehouse in the best and most efficient and most accurate manner. So um, the, the warehouse management system allows you to say, well, this is how we receive. This is how we put away. This is where we want to put this product. This is where we want to put that product. You know, we meet a certain set of conditions here and we do this. So if you had to, if you had to, um, if you had to put all of that into a set of written procedures, well, Great, and procedures and written procedures are are not unimportant, and, and I don't want to downplay that. But the more you've got a list of rules written down on a piece of paper somewhere that nobody ever looks at, and that people forget, and they don't they don't remember, um, then you you become increasingly people dependent, right? And most of the time, people don't write them down. Uh, and if someone does bother to write them down, they are so deep and so complicated that people just don't they don't get trained. People don't follow them. Now, if you've got that constant reminder of a device that is saying, go here, do this, this this thing goes there, that thing goes over there, you've got a pallet, right? Okay, well, it goes up high in the racks because it's a slow moving product and you know that's a year's worth of stock. All of those sort of things can be written into the way, uh, into a system, right? That essentially drives the culture of how your business operates to make it more and more efficient. And so what that means is when people, when people come in, you train them how to use the system rather than trying to 
give them a set of written procedures and go, hey, learn all of these things and remember them and I'm going to beat you up when you forget one or two or you think it's a stupid rule and you don't follow it and you take a shortcut and all of the things that humans do, right? So um, that that is just, like, that's massive. But getting there, obviously, there's there's work you've got to do in order to uh, to to get into a warehouse management system and build all of those rules. So like culture, um, this the, the real-time imagery systems, the warehouse management system is not a static thing. It will evolve with you and you will continue to improve it over time. So just like culture uh, can be, some cultures are, are, you know, are more effective um, at things than, than others. Um, and we see that within a society, people, some people are more effective. If I went to Tesla or SpaceX, I'd find a super high performing culture. And if I went to maybe some other companies, I would find a less, a less high performing culture. So uh, the opportunity to capture the best and retain it and make sure that as people come and go in the business, because as we know, people always come and go, the ability to capture that within the system so that come in, people come in, they learn the system and instantly they will then be start. They will be starting to follow the culture because it is built into the way of operating the the, the system. So uh, that's what I wanted to just sort of highlight that there is um, uh, uh, the thing that I see that a lot of businesses struggle with is that they uh, they they get into trouble. They develop poor process and they get into a death spiral. Another thing that I've uh, talked about. Um, you get into a death spiral when your culture goes downhill and people no longer believe in it and and they don't follow it and you haven't systematized it and you can get into serious trouble even large companies can get into serious trouble um as they slide downhill and as everything starts to go out the window and they get themselves into into major major problems so recovering that is actually that's a challenge it's really really difficult it can be done but it takes time and effort and money and good systems and good processes. You kind of have to build things up. And these are very complex interleaved problems that, that often need to be sorted out in these situations. And they are genuinely cultural, right? So you have a, you have the, the problem, the challenge you've got to overcome is how to build the high performing culture back into your business so that people follow it. And one of the ways that you can do that is uh, certainly in your warehouse. And I'm not saying this is for, this is universal because you know, there's a whole lot of things going on in a business apart from the, the logistics and the distribution. But operationally, things are often incredibly complex uh, problems to solve. So you have the, the opportunity here to, uh, to build a system and slowly build up wisdom over time into your system of the best way to operate your business. Anyway, so I thought that was really interesting that uh, uh, that occurred to me today as I'm listening to uh, to Jordan Peterson's 12 rules for 12 more rules for life beyond order. Um, highly recommend the, the the book if you if you want to um, read it or listen to it on Audible as I do. And uh, anyway, so that is that's my uh, thought for the day. And next week I'm going to I'm going to do a video on. Uh, some of the uh, probably a couple more aspects of around real-time inventory management and some of the things that are kind of critical to the success of doing that and then I'll, I'll start to dive into the specifics of warehouse management systems in particular and how they work and some of the things that you need to do to um, to to implement that in your business uh, successfully some of the prerequisites that you should probably be working on now if you think that eventually uh, you would you would want to have that anyway that's all for now I'm uh, Andrew Clark, and I will uh, speak to you soon. Reach out to me on LinkedIn <coughs> um, or check out my website at Logistics Help or um, the, the software website, logisticscloudco.com. Uh, and uh, hopefully I'll talk to you soon.